Everybody, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3, Imperial Mod and Paradox Gamer. I have found out why my units are so slow. Now, if we take a look at this unit, for example, it's moving. This one, you can see it has a speed here. It is currently 3.84 kilometers per hour, which is 96% of default speed, which is 4 kilometers per hour. And the question, uh, the reason why its, it's uh, speed is lower is because of the terrain. The terrain makes it 96%. If we look at these guys, they only move 0 0.02 kilometers per hour. Uh, currently 0.7% of default speed. 72% from terrain and 1% from weather. So it's it's simply the terrain weather combination that is doing this. We can take these guys for example. Same thing. So if we look at the weather map mode, we can see here this is very white. I don't know what that means, but it it's bad, I think. It means you can't really move across this mountain range at all. And it makes sense because the other units where I had the problem was around this area, which is actually desert. And that's probably been in the summer or something like that. And the other units I have right now with the same problems are these up here in the extreme north, where the temperature is minus and uh, stuff like that. So you can take a look at one of these guys 0 0.04 weather. But I'm sure terrain is has something to do with it as well. That's why these guys are moving so slow. Then you can argue, okay, so is it realistic? Let's take this this guy for example. He'll be out of the mountains on March 8, 1942. That's almost that's more than one and a half years from now. Would it would it sim would it really take one and a half years to move? this distance? No, I don't think it would. So it's still, I don't know, either a bug or a bro broken game mechanic. I can I can see why it should be a lot slower to move through here, but not that much slower. So yeah, just wanted to point that out. Now, uh, Syrian is an allies member. This is Sparta. Sparta is an allies member. I wish there was an allies member map mode. Belize is allied. And then we have Armenia at war with the allies. Yeah. Okay. So, not really any way to go here. Do they have VPs? No. That's that's why they haven't taken them over. Because they need to remove them completely from the map. Right, so that was Syria. Iraq is an allies. It's truce with the allies. Okay. No, Iraq is an allied member. What? Iran at war with the Allies, aligning towards the Allies. So Iran is definitely a target and the only target in this region. Iraq, Iran is fighting, looks like. Yeah, Iran is fighting the Allies. And of course we have Central Asia, that will be interesting once we get Siberia done. Uh, so what we want to do here is move our troops um, east. And um, yeah, attack Iran. Okay, so. If 
Third Panzer Corps. Let's get over here. And first Panzer Corps. Get over there. Now we need to get some cavalry down here, so let's get one here. And maybe one more over here. Nah, that's fine. Uh, close. And get these guys over here. And I do have a lot of infantry, but they're currently stuck. So, I'm not sure about that. Um, but, I think we'll take these guys down here. Okay, back to Siberia. We need to finish that now. Problem is supply uh, ranges here. So we just need to take Novosibirsk and Alexandrovsko. After that they will surrender. And I just got a lot of new stuff here. More infantry divisions. I got 200 manpower now, so I could go nuts with some more of those. One, two times. One more time. That's nine divisions. Uh, okay. And we got 122% on offices. Let's go. Now we we are going to have to fight the allies soon. I just I, I just want to exhaust all my possibilities which are currently located in Central Asia. Yeah, so Novosibirsk is um, not defended. And then we just need to get to um, Alexandrovsko. These guys are going to do that. This guy's getting really close now. Let's come up this way. Let's see where he's going. Just caught him off. Lightning speed. Well, not lightning speed, but uh, speed at least. Alright, did we take uh, Novosibirsk? Yes. Okay. Uh, right. <laughs> Let's come up. Uh, come up this way. Army headquarters is trying to follow. It does take a while to move around there. Let's try to put the cavalry up there. guy is frozen. He will react as soon as they arrive in Kostroma.
Province lost, uprising. Alright, nearby units. It's right in the middle of where there's nothing. Come down from here. Large warship radar advance. Okay, let's now add 1940. Let's keep that. Come on. As soon as you arrive, you can attack. Yeah, that's going to be quick. Stop pestering me. Please. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. guys are in supply. I badly want to go up there. Let's get get to it. Get some experience with these guys. These guys are moving around. That's fine. Still trying to make it out of those mountains. Nobody goes in there. Right. Get rid of that brigade. Yeah, as soon as it arrives, it will be dead. So, over here. Molten AV. Just go straight in there. Yep, it's gone. Okay, let's put this guy over here somewhere. And this guy is surrounded. Let's get right on that. We got the blitz. That's a nice bonus to get. 
and he's dead. Yes, pretty much. Go in there. Go, go, go! Oh no. Bad weather? Yes. Ah, uh, We can't get there. It's too cold. Yeah, see that. Uh, we can't get there until summer then. Alright, give that up. Uh, we can move around in the south in the meantime. Uh, so let's do like this. And like that. Maybe like that. Alright, so Siberia is not gonna fall until... Summer. It's too cold up there. Which is a bit weird because we did get the uh, Arctic warfare equipment. But that only goes to attrition. Yeah, their speed is gone. Nah. Okay. So we have to wait. What about down here? Okay, this one attached to the six army instead. Oh, six. Yeah, six army. Okay. Oh yeah, the uh, Panzer Army needs to get over here as well. Iran enforced conquer on Iraq. Cool. I will be getting there soon. Spearhead Doctrine. It's done. Nice. So what do we got left? We got these two. Technical command structure land doctrine. After that one. Okay. Back to 128 officer ratio. These guys are out of supply. Hmm. Yeah, well. Yeah, that's understandable. Just do what you can to get around there. Oh, I would have liked to get Siberia now. So close. They've got two, three VPs left. This one's worth three. The one and one, one and one, yeah. So we got, we got three points. And we'll get to six. Six out of eight when we take that one. It's freezing cold, so it's not going to happen. And I don't see any m more Siberian units anywhere. So they're pretty much gone. Alright, so now it's just a question of getting ready for Iran. And Siberia, get that done. I might have to put a, a longer break. Uh, so simply get through the winter. Because we can't get to our target as long as it's this cold.
Frozen 100%. <clears throat> ah, shut up, it does. Just be careful not to go up in that area. No, these guys are stuck. Pretty much stuck there until summer. <laughs> That's a bit stupid. Right, let's move up this way, this way, and come down that way. This is pretty tough terrain as well. Stay put there. Large formations. Uh, where is that? Large formations. I don't see it. Large front. Oh, this one. It's right in front of me. Why can't they do it so that when you click on this, you actually go to... And this is highlighted, something like that. You always have to sit and look for it. Anyway. Okay, guys, I think I will put a break in here. Oh my god, the game is slow again. And then I will come back when I am ready with something, either to go to... Uh, what's that called? Alexandrovsko? Or I'm ready to attack Iran. One of those two. And then I'll be back. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Take care.